So I just wanted to make a short video on how to install new wires for your hooker electric dredge reel. So right now what I've done, I've ran two separate wires. This black and red one's going to the port side and this wire I had, this is just what I had with me. It's another six gauge with a red and black wire in it. So I ran the wires, it's about a 30 foot run from the back of the boat. And just to kind of make it neat, I kind of chased the wires that I already had existing. So now I got the six gauge wires run. I went ahead and crimped some ring terminals on there and made sure it was nice and heat shrunk. As you can see, I've already got one connected. So I've got the red wire to the positive side of the battery. And then I have the six gauge negative wire connected to the negative side. So this is a 12 volt system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hook those wires up and I'll go ahead and show you the Hubble plugs on the other side and the system we have set up. So we just finished up installing two new hooker electric dredge reels on the Seawolf all the way from Juan Cheese on this 53 beautiful Carolina fish killing machine. So we just finished rigging up the Seawolf with two new hooker electric dredge reels. Got 280 wides hooked up on the pulley system. Those beautiful 53 Carolina boat. So on the port side, we have our 30 amp Hubble receptacle. It's getting strapped up with some zip ties or something just to hang it up there for easy access. Didn't really want to drill any new holes. Getting ready for a tournament tomorrow. And then we have one on our starboard side. Here's your 80 wide Tiagra hooker electric dredge reel. We've got 250 pound mono on there. Rigged up to the outriggers on your pulley system. Yesterday we were testing it out. We pulled a three tier 48 mullet dredge. No problem. It's got the variable speed. Be able to reel it in slower or faster. There you have it, there's one. There's the second dredge reel.